you guys. <laughs> Should I like stand or like? What's up you guys? It's Alexis, AKA Jadel, and we are back with another video. I'm doing a painting today, as you can see. I've already started on it, unfortunately, but I will be going over the process of basically making the Noxalisa. If you guys don't know already, I created a brand. The brand is called Frizz Notes. It is basically an art brand. Um, we create everything from stickers to prints to 3D modeling, we're getting into, and a whole bunch of other stuff. We sell like shirts, every, everything. We do custom orders. A little bit of history from this painting. This painting is called the, again, it's called the Nox Alisa. It is basically the Mona Lisa, but recreated in like Frizz Notes style. So I've already started, I've already got the base coat on, I've already done the background. So basically I am just painting him and the, I'm gonna add like some other things in it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna be creative today. So yeah, let's get started. Doo -doo 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 -doo. How did they do it on Disney Channel? Hi, I'm Alexis and you're watching Frizz Notes. So when I paint, I always go from back to front and yeah, finish up the face, go to the hair, then start doing like the um, body part. We should work with this one. And, um, geez, these look so bad. Ah, this one, okay. I'm gonna do a hard outline. I'm gonna start from dark to light. So like a gray and then white. I think I might do another layer of white because white just takes so many coats. Dark and then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finish the face, Salisa face. Now I'm gonna go and do the hair, the orangeness. I tried with some shading. Um, yeah, not the best shader. I usually do cartoons, and cartoons are usually like really uh, mm, like hard patterned uh, shading. So I'm gonna go in, do the hair, and uh, yeah, we can time lapse that. I didn't time lapse the black because I have to lay it down. I bought this orange right here. And I can already tell that it's not gonna do anything because it's like neon and I swear with neon colors, it never works. Look at that coverage. I'm like, I'm basically painting on nothing. You know how many coats that's gonna take? I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. Here, I'm gonna have to make orange, golden acrylics. So I'm gonna have to make the orange here. I only take, hold on, too close to the camera. I only, I only use these for special occasions. Why? One, because they're expensive. Two, because they're awesome. Whatever this is, this did not do good. Probably cost me like $7. I finished mm, the majority of the sleeve. I am not the best at shading, but this is my attempt. I think it came out pretty well. I don't know how I feel about the sleeves. Um, 
the little puffers, but I think that's the best I can do. Uh, <laughs> I had to um, do a quick update so I have finished the painting like the regular paint stuff and now I have to go back and basically outline it all in black do the highlights and the shadowing and then I will finally be done with the piece so yeah um, just give you a little update now back to the timeline everyone we are back and I have finally finished the painting I know you're looking at me like Alexis why are you dressed up I'm about to have a photo shoot right after I finish making this video but yeah I just want to go through um, on everything I did first you prep the painting I did that with a very cool shade color probably won't do that again because it took way too much coats for the lighter color to build up on that cool color if that makes sense to you Second, I went and I traced it, I outlined it, and then um, with pencil. Then I went working from the back to the front um, with painting, and then afterwards, I do love line art, so I did outline everything in black. Here it is. I am going to get some footage, like I said, and yeah, so that'll be a wrap. All right, let's get some footage. <laughs> 